What is going on, Laker fans? Uh, hope you guys are having a good Monday morning here. A little Lakers talk daily. Uh, Monday through Friday, we're putting up some content here on our ESPN LA YouTube page. So hope you guys can be a part of it. Please subscribe to the channel. Um, got a couple quick things I want to get into this morning. So Lakers lost last night, 132 to 127 against the Kings in OT. So now one and two on the season. Um, I want to talk about two couple things I want to talk about. Rotations which I think are all over the place. And I want to talk about Austin Reeves. Does anybody know where Austin Reeves is? Anybody have any idea where Austin Reeves is? Um, frustrating loss last night because I, I thought the Lakers put themselves in a position to win that game. I cannot stand how the Lakers keep digging themselves a hole. Seems like every Laker game we've watched so far, there's been three so far, and in every one of them, Lakers are down double digits at the end of the first quarter. Against Denver, they're down 14. Against uh, the Suns, they're down 12 at the end of the first quarter. And then last night against Sacramento, give up 41 points in the first quarter and are down uh, by 13 by the time the first quarter was done. Okay, let me do rotations first, and then I'll get into Austin Reeves. You know, Darvin Ham had said something that this is an area in the postgame show that he wants to fix, correct, figure out, however you want to describe it. And I couldn't agree more. I, I, I'm i so confused and lost of who's closing out games, what the justification is, who should be in, who should be out. And you just kind of go down the list here. Um, that's critical. And I know to start off the season – that's not always going to figure itself out. But what's not helping is you got a lot of players that you thought were going to close out a game or thought you were can, you can depend on that definitely have not been dependable so far. So I think D'Lo has been okay. Gabe Vincent can't hit a three if his life depended on it. Austin Reeves, I'm going to talk about him separately because I have no idea what's going on with Austin Reeves. Rui Hachimura... If it wasn't for him hitting a couple of shots yesterday, I'd have probably started off this episode about Rui. So there are a lot of guys so far to start off the season where you thought, okay, hey, those are going to be dependable players. Those are going to be guys that are going to hit shots. That hasn't been the case. And I think that's that's thrown Darvin Ham for a loop of who can I depend on to close out games? Who do I go to when um, when when I'm trying to go get a W? I mean, Torian Prince last night played 41 minutes. I know it was an overtime game, but who would have thought that Torian Prince was going to be in predicaments where he's going to play 41 and Reeves is only going to play 28? Or how about Rui only played 17 minutes yesterday for the Lakers? So I think the rotations are all over the place. I don't have an answer for it, but that's certainly something that's concerning early on. Braun you tried kind of keeping him on a minutes restriction after the first game. He played 29 minutes. Follow that up by playing 35, and then last night he played 39. So whatever the plan was on LeBron, obviously that has not been the case these last couple of games. And I think a lot of it is the inconsistency from these Laker role players, the lack of hitting shots from these role players, specifically from the three-point line. Um, and, and I think that's thrown everything off a little bit for Darvin Ham, but that's something that the Lakers are going to have to figure out here uh, very, very soon. Still incredibly early in the season, but you also don't want to start out 2-5 and five or some 3-6 and six or something like that. You just don't want to it, – it, it's – we've had this before, and I know last year isn't the best example because the Lakers were 2-10 and 10 last year, but to play catch-up all season long – um, that's not what this roster is supposed to be. They're supposed to get off to a good start and then sustain it. So, uh, and listen, they're one couple of minutes away from that overtime yesterday against Sacramento from being two and one and us praising the Lakers, but, um, a lot of room for improvement, certainly with the rotations. And that's also on the role players to come through on a more consistent basis. So Darvin Ham could shorten up his lineup so he can have an idea of what to do towards the end of games. You guys remember Austin Reeves? What the heck is going on with Austin Reeves? So I was looking today. Let me share this with you guys. So three games Austin Reeves has played so far this year. All right. Against the Nuggets, he was 4 of 11 from the field. Not efficient. 
but he had eight rebounds and four assists. So you kind of live with that. You say, all right, you know what? His shot just wasn't falling, but he followed that up. Um, he was contributing with his rebounds. He was contributing with his assists. Then the Lakers played the Suns for a seven from the field, but only two rebounds and one assist. So he was more efficient, um, but I, I didn't think his, you know, his play and his minutes were, were truly impactful the way you've kind of expected from Austin Reeves now. Then last night, one for 12 from the field, two rebounds, two assists. That's it. One of eight from the three-point line. Reeves has been bad. Um, he's been really, really, really kind of confusing. That's the last guy of all these Laker players. He's basically the last guy that I'm concerned about. He's the guy that I, I look at least and say, at least coming into the season, and it's like, well, I don't know what Austin Reeves is going to bring the Lakers. No, I never really have that issue. I kind of have exactly of an idea of what Austin Reeves is typically going to bring to the table. But to have those stats right now, uh, what Austin Reeves is doing, and uh, just to see him through these first three games doesn't seem comfortable, doesn't seem consistent, a um, little bit all over the place. He played his minutes got cut yesterday too. I mean, think about Austin Reeves. Torian Prince is going to play 41 and he's going to play 28. Um, that's not, Gabe Vincent's going to play more minutes than Austin Reeves. He's going to have 32 minutes and Austin Reeves only going to have 28. So I hope Austin Reeves is just kind of trying to get his legs up again because he played a part of that FIBA USA or represented USA in those FIBA World Cups, uh, World Cup. But nonetheless, he has been really disappointing to start the season. And I'm sure he's one, probably one of the last guys Darvin Ham thought as well. Maybe we should have known this because they were playing Austin Reeves half of the preseason game. So maybe we should have had an idea that maybe he'll get off to a slow start. But not like this, at least not for me. I definitely was not thinking about that. Uh, Laker fans, your thoughts on the rotations, you can put on the comments below. What do you think is going on with Austin Reeves? You can put that on the comments below. Lakers got the Orlando Magic tonight, so something to keep in mind as we get ready for uh, some more Lakers basketball. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Please subscribe to the channel. Pre-game show, 7.30 to pre-game show, 6 p.m. tonight. Hope you guys can be a part of that, and uh, look forward to doing this uh, tomorrow and the rest of the week. Thanks, Laker fans.